Guys, I see a, a billboard here for Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls on Prime Video. It's coming out on March 25th, which is in a couple days. And it's, it's rad, I'm gonna check it out. But it's cool to see so much love for all kinds of body types right now. And so much love and acceptance and like thinking that like people who like are amputees or um, who are differently abled are like superheroes because we shine so much light on what they can do instead of what they can't do. And I did not grow up like that at all. Like if you had a little bit of a tummy, you were like unworthy. Like I, I talked about this so many times when I was like losing that last hundred pounds um, in the last couple of years where I was like, I would go my girlfriend and I were on the, on the Whaler Swim Club and she would get to wear a Speedo, like, you know, like the cool racer back bathing suit that made you fast in the water. And her mom uh, was like, oh, you should get one that has like a skirt attached or some ruching to hide your trouble areas. And I was like, I'm 10, what the fuck is a trouble area? Like, I have no trouble. What are we talking about? Anyways, so like, but it's just taught to you from a very, very young age, like, You'd get measured for your ballet outfit for the end of the year recital and then they'd be like oh we don't make tutus that big so yours will have to be custom or oh, i guess the whole the whole class can't wear you know the 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 crop top jazzercise outfit because we couldn't possibly put samantha in that her tummy would show like you were just such a buzzkill and like like unattractive not valuable, not skilled, not good enough, not worthy of being looked at if you had um, any kind of chub to you, any kind. Like, we're talking like like six, seven, eight, nine, ten year old girls in dance class. Like, why are we caring about what shape their body is? Like, shouldn't we be teaching them about like teamwork and spatial awareness and pointing your damn toes? Oh, there's a crackhead in front of me. Well, it's gonna take a minute. Okay, here we go. He just dropped a computer on the ground that I'm trying not to run over. Well, that was frustrating. Anyways, I just like, I saw that billboard and I got a little bit triggered because I was like, I had this conversation the other day um, about women's bodies and, and there's this girl who is very hourglass shaped in this beautiful dress and it said, is this, appropriate, is this outfit appropriate for church? And I said, yes, it's high neck, long sleeve, goes past her knees. It's a beautiful dress. It's perfect for, for church. And they were like, hell no, it isn't. Hmm, get that? Hell no. They're like, it's inappropriate. It's too tight. Like you can see the whole silhouette of her body. And I was like, so it's her body that you think isn't okay for the church, not the outfit. Like, and I was like, when I grew up, if, if you had a body like that, you were considered like, like chunky and like unfit and sloth like, you know, like, I grew up in in Canada where you had to have blonde hair and blue eyes and be a stick figure and then magically have boobs one day. But like, don't you dare get a tummy or hips or an ass because that's unattractive. Like, you know, like the whole like Baywatch figure was such a big deal because you had to look like, like the skinniest of the skinny, like no, no booty hangout, nothing. But you had to magically have tits. Like, it was unrealistic, but I'm just saying, like, like, I grew up where that was, was the standard. Okay, this drives me crazy. I didn't mean for this to be a whole vlog in and of itself, but let's just switch topics for a second. Right here where the front of my truck needs to go. So we're just gonna get out. I'll move this car. Oh, I don't know what that is, dude. So I can pull into the parking spot because my truck is so big that I don't pull all the way in, people can't get around me. Oh, I don't want to hit that bag though. Ooh. Anyways, I just think that if you're parking, um, I say I just think a lot. Um, if you're taking your shopping cart back to your car, the least you can do is take your shopping cart back to the carousel. Like, it costs you nothing. It's 30 seconds of your time. You took the fucking object to gather all your goods. You might as well put it back for other people. Like for people who just leave their carts there, like, oh, this drives me nuts. I just looked to my right and one, two, three parking spots to my right is the shopping cart carousel. I just, I just think guys, I just think uh, the difference between a good person and a bad person is whether or not you put your shopping cart back. So if you know somebody who doesn't put their shopping cart back, 
on purpose. I think you should just slap them. Just bend them over your knee and spank them. And they'll be like, what the hell are you doing? And be like, you didn't put your shopping cart back. Like the rules of being a decent human in life are not that difficult. So you're getting spankings. Okay, I can't, I can't issue physical violence or endorse that. So ground them, send them to the room without dessert. No, oh, that's not punishment enough. Just make a phone call and get their taxes audited. Be like, listen, put your shopping cart back or else I'm gonna call the tax man. That would probably do it. No, man, people don't care about the shopping carts. They don't care about their taxes either. Um, how can we properly punish adults? So just super quick, the moral of my story is, um, I'm not a stick figure girl, I'm not skinny, um, and I'm really happy that um, people think that I'm pretty because pretty much my whole life I didn't fit into that category and even though I changed locations that I lived in and changed the types of people that I hung out with and the types of sports and activities that I did, um, it isn't until now when I'm almost 40 that I'm considered attractive, which is just wild to me. Just wild to me. And then I see Lizzo's billboard where it's like praising like these heavy girls. And I'm just like, huh, where was that when I was 10? Where was people telling me that it was okay to like dance and wear spandex and, and be loud and be an actress and have fun regardless of what size your spandex were? You know, like where was that when I was a kid? I digress. I have body issues. Come from 38 years of being told how to look. Hmm. <sighs> oh, life.